as we saw, lots of excited fans out there. But you know what? There is one pair of fans, two guys, good friends, who give new meaning to super fan. They have been to more than 30 Final Fours in a row. Our lady friends caught up with them and joins us live now at NRG. Laney, I'm sure they've got some stories. Yeah, I got to hang out with them earlier. Such a fun group of guys. They had just flown in from all over the country, and you might be surprised to hear they're not fans of any of the remaining teams. They're just diehard fans of the Final Four. 1981, uh, we were in college, and we uh, were watching the games, and an ad came up on how to get tickets for the next year. And the rest was history. 35 years and 153 Final Four games later, these guys have seen some of the best sports moments of all time. Even the 1982 Phi Slamma Jamma Championship in Albuquerque. An unbelievable game, probably one of the best, highest quality basketball games that we ever saw. And at that point we were kind of hooked. You know, the year before we saw uh, Michael Jordan hit the jump shot to beat Georgetown. But for these longtime friends, the NCAA tournament goes beyond the game of basketball. The memories are be a lot more basketball, but it's as we get older, it's more about renewing our friendships and getting together with our friends for four or five days. We didn't plan to go for 35 years, it just sort of happened. And you go once a year, and then all of a sudden, here you are 35 years later. We're very honored to be back here in Houston, and, and honestly, we hope they join the Big 12. And if you see any of those guys around NRG Stadium tomorrow, a couple of them are still looking for tickets, but they told me they're not worried because they're pros at this. Live from NRG Stadium, Lainey Fritz, KPRC, Channel 2 Sports. Thank